So, this is my economic case study on broomsticks and broom makers. So, first question A. This is the effects of developing breakthrough, breakthrough te harvesting technology for Tambu, followed by a slight drop of price of Chinese brooms from 50 pesos to 45 pesos per broomstick. As you can see, there will be a small decrease of price for rivals, small decrease of demand, big increase in the supply, and big increase in the technology that is used for the harvesting. So it's question so the next question is B. So graph the effects of a slight improvement in harvesting technology for Tambo, followed by a huge drop in the price of Chinese brooms from fifty pesos to fifteen pesos per broomstick. So this is what I did for that question. So as you can see there will be a big decrease of price in the rivals, big decrease for the demand, partial increase in the supply, and a little of the technology improving. So, number two. This is a graph of the effect of the subsidy on broom makers. As we can see, when the subsidy is established, from a price of 50 pesos, to a quantity of 5,000, it became a price of 50 pesos on a quantity of 7,500. So, the quantity increased and the supply increased. So, the other question is, why should the government subsidize the tambu makers? And what are the pros and cons of this policy? So actually, from my opinion, the government should subsidize tambu makers because they are actually making good use of our agricultural resources and not putting it to waste. Developing it more by giving it funds will definitely boost its capability to enhance the product and thus innovating the tambu business. If it is very successful, in the long run, it might be a world-renowned product of the Philippines bringing pride to the country and our country being recognized and famous for this product. Who knows, right? To the stakeholders, this might be a very big opportunity and surely a pro thing to do in order to improve income or wealth. The con is that it might not be very successful due to the Philippines economy. Will it thrive? Will it succeed? Those are our questions.